Good day, fine people, and very warm welcome to you as we listen to this quite jolly music. Uh, my name is Nick, one of the ZX Spectrum 48K, and we're looking at a game called Pippo, if I'm pronouncing that right. Rise of Hippo, but it's got a P on the front. It's Pippo. Uh, this has been published by Mastertronic in 1986. 48K, it's a budget title for $1.99, a puzzle game uh, as such. Now, it's over 32 levels, but eight levels broken into four different phases. Uh, you'll get the hang of this as we go through, I hope. It's my first go. Uh, basically, you must turn a grid from one colour to another colour by hopping on the individual squares and not getting hit by the baddie. Seems simple enough. Right. Three, two, one, go! Right, here we go. Well, watch your eyes here. Right, level one. It's using the multiple sound, but it is on the 48k. Right, different channels. Let's try and get off level one, Nick. Here I go. I might be good. I might be rubbish. Right, okay. So I can control a guy called Pippo in the middle. There we go. Here he is. Now it's yellow, you can see, I go to each screen it's white. Don't fall down those holes there and don't fall off the grid. We must avoid being bumping into those balls. Now another enemy generated with the glasses, he's gonna undo all my handiwork, I think. Don't bump into him. There's a peel up there, I think if I bump into that peel, it's like a power peel in Pac-Man, and that means I can destroy all the baddies. Right, three lives left. You can see on the bottom, oops, you can see on the bottom right it says color white, that square that's white, that means I need to change all the squares to that sort of like color. Right, if you had this game back in the day, let me know. It's being played because of a recommendation. I'd never heard of it, but already it's pretty cool, isn't it, really? So I should be able to do at least stage one, in theory, should I? Maybe, unless that glasses guy under does all my handiwork. So almost there. I'm doing once, I'm going around a bit cautiously here, because I don't want to zip off the grid. So I will get gradually better as we go along, I hope. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I say this in practically every video. So a huge thank you to everyone that subscribed. A massive thank you to the members. If you want to be a member, it's not compulsory by any means, but it helps the channel continue. Uh, click on the join button below and see what that's all about. Uh, big thank you to the members. You are super cool. Without the members, it wouldn't be here. Is that me dead? I wasn't paying attention. I was talking at the same time. Right, okay. All right, so there is uh, an, that, that thing jumping around, I think, is an extra life I hear. I got confused then. I glanced away from the screen and glanced back again. Anyway, we'll have another go. That was just a warm-up go, which I was rubbish. I didn't even get off the first screen. Fingers crossed, Nick. Get off the first screen, Ninkum Poopin. Right, come on. Three, two, one. I do like that countdown in big, big graphics there. Right, level one. Here we go, we'll do it this time. There's all the baddies there we could possibly um, bump into, I think, on the different stages. I need to make a concerted effort to get the power pill thing, because I think that might make the game a whole lot easier. Now, as a kid, it was all about colours on the ZX Spectrum, so you want to get to the next screen to see what colours there were. Right, I'm doing a nice little path here. We're all right until Glasses Guy turns up, and there he is. Look out for the power pill. Come on, he moves around a lot slower than us. Alright, let's get that power pill thing. Come on, oh, that thing's in the way. Oh, that's an extra life, that's good. Right, come on, that was another Pippo. They should turn into springs, I think. Yes, one of the instructions. Right, okay, they're springing. Let's get them. I think they only need to be springs for about a limited 30 seconds. They might regenerate afterwards. Have I got time to get this fella? Yes, oh no, I didn't. Right, okay. Luck be with me tonight. Here we go. So, they're all turning white. Apart from Glasses Guy turning it yellow. If you are Glasses Guy, comment below. But nice bold graphics there as I turn into another cross. Oh, come on, Nick. I must do at least level one, surely. I would. Um, these reviews aren't about expert gameplay, but seeing how you would have found the game in your first second go, and would have been enough there if you would want to play it again. <laughs> Oops, I've fallen off the screen there. And I, I would have played it again. I would have played it a lot of times because it's a very addictive uh, game. Right, two lives left. Only got three squares here. Come on, balls, get out of the way. Right, one square left. Come on, come on, Nick. Come on. Get away from him. Yes. Oh, look at that. He's undone one of my squares. He's undone another square. He's not making many friends. Mind you, if I get that power pill somehow, that could be good. Come on. Yes, right, that should be it. Biff, biff, biff. Thank goodness for that. So, level one, phase one done. I think on the later phases you have to change the squares twice to a select colour. Uh, look at the bottom right, colour white again, they're already white. Oh, that's a brighter white using the bright uh, one function. So the aliens this time are dollar signs, although, yeah, I thought there were things we could pick up there, but no, they are dollar signs of doom. So we've got one life left, 
get off stage two, get off this second phase. So I'm getting gradually better as we go on. It's a learning thing, and it's quite fair to the newbie, I think. Good gameplay, interesting gameplay, a unique game. This game is excellent. What an excellent game. I want to play this all day, but I can't. Uh, but to get that power pill, good animation of that thing's jumping with the shadow underneath. Oh, is, there we go. Spring watch. Come on, get a move on, Nick. Biff, biff. So it's just what we've got. Just got the, the uh, squares on the right-hand side. I'm off and running now. Yes. Uh, if you dawdle around, the enemies will get more plentiful. But it's not on a timer, which is good. Is it going to do that? Yay! Right, see, I've got the hang of it. Uh, good digital scoring there. Half green, half yellow. So it took, took a, a go, at least, to try and get into the swing of things. And now I'm off and running. Look out for extra lives. Oh, it's a black screen there, turning everything blue. Right, now, look out for extra lives. That's a, a, if you see another dark jumping Pippo, bump into him, that'd be an extra life, and we need them. You got the idea? Looks like the uh, the grid's always going to be the same size. Uh, if you want to download this game, I got it from a site called Spectrum Computing. If you want to run that in emulation, that's what I'm doing uh, here. Game over. So, my first go, I think it passed the first screen. Uh, my second go, still on level one, but I've got to the third phase at least. Let's have a last one last go. I've got the high score here. And I, oh god, can I delete that? No, oh well. I'll have to be Nick Zero C, that favourite fav famous robot from Star Wars. Um, you know who he is. Three, two, one, go. Right. Level 1. Let's get off level 1 now. Top concentration. We know how the game works. We know what to avoid. We know what to do. And we know about the power pill. Let's get off uh, level 1 at least through the first four phases. So it's phase 1. Wish me luck. Situation under control. Maybe. Right. So this is going to seem quite easy now compared to those other stages. It's always a square grid as far as I'm aware. Uh, I'd like to know what the last level uh, would be like. I bet that's pretty evil stuff. Uh, you never know what direction they're going to go in. No time of that. Oh, there's an extra life there, an extra Pippo moving around the screen. But anyway, let's just chase this power pill first. Oh, good. Everyone's turned into spring, so I've lost my extra life. That was a bit silly. But anyway, don't worry about that. I'm doing methodically, so I've just got those squares up the top there. Hmm, maybe I should get that extra life. Boom, see, it's gone from three to four. We're cooking on gas now, folks. Just don't bump into these balls. Uh, right, one, two. Yes! He's not going to double back on me. I think this looks pretty good. So that's a maximum then. An extra life gained, no lives lost. Screen done. Done and dusted. Now it goes over to this where we turn it to white, to a slightly brighter white. Interesting choice of colours uh, early on, but I like it. Avoid the dollar signs. Only fools chase the money, folks. Don't chase the money, just chase the screen. It's like, um, you know, like Saturday Night Fever, uh, where he, or maybe um, Billy Jean, I suppose, that video, where they tread on the squares on the dance floor and they turn into different colours, they all light up. Bom, 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 She told me she was a hippo. No, that's not a very good song, but it was Pippo. No, let's stop that. Go. Uh, if you're still watching this nonsense, well done you. Uh, let me know how far you get in the game. If you want to try it out, then come back. See, did you get any further than me? Have you got any more tips for me? I mean, this guy's quite fat, despite um, jumping up and down all day. Maybe he uh, gets a load of uh, calories. He's got massive ears. I don't know what sort of creature Pippo is, but I like the guy. I'd give him a high five if he's in the room. If you are Pippo, comment below. If you are a hippo, comment below, but don't smash the keyboard. So this is as far as I got uh, last time into the blue just don't doodle because if you doodle as we know more enemies get generated especially glasses man that starts to undo all my work and there's people like that in real life you know you do good work and they keep undoing it all right there he is there bouncing up and down like uh, butter wouldn't melt uh, right come on nick get the power pill there right so we've got about half the screen done maybe just over half the screen I expect if there's two of those glasses people later on that might make it a bit tricky but this looks this looks good this looks very good. Up. Got four lives left. Still haven't lost a life here. Bam! So that's the furthest I've got. The furthest I've got. So in the highest score chart, I'll be zipping and dipping. Uh, zipping away. Right, round four of level one. Let's go in cyan this time. Yellow to cyan. Avoid the numbers, and they're pretty numbers. They're shaded in. They're 3D. One, two, three, four. Good. 
a great variety of everything. I'm loving this game the more and more I play it. This game's fantastic. Why have I never heard of this? 1986 Master Tronic. I mean, when I was going to get a, um, a budget game, 199, why didn't why did I buy Jack and the Beanstalk? Why wasn't this on the shelf? Maybe it wasn't there. Good. Oh yeah, now I'm getting the sort of system now, a bit like Pac-Man, where you know the order to get the uh, the dots to close in. And make... Oh, look at that! <laughs> too confident, too confident, and I just zipped off. I just zipped off the map. Ugh. Always be ready for a knockdown blow. I, my 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 excuse is I'm always trying to talk at the same time. This looks iffy. Oh god, that was close. Running, I was going a bit cavalier now. Well, we need to get going before Glasses Man turns up. That free keeps going down. Don't go back up, number three. Good. He's free to do what he wants any old time. Right, there's a power pill there. Have I, well, I've only got one square left. Oh, no. Oh, that's it. That'll do us. Back to five lives. Oh, this is working out a treat. Oh, yeah. Easy. 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 What colour screen's going to be next? I reckon red turning into magenta. That'd be pretty scary, wouldn't it? Oh, level two. Right, good. So I've got off level one. All four phases of level one done. Now let's see what level two has to offer. There's eight levels in total, giving you 32 screens. Eight eight levels of four phases each. It is magenta. Like I said, what colour's it going to go? It's going to go cyan again. Right. That's not too bad. Rather than the other way round. So that's a good good little block earlier. I don't know what these things are. They look like um, those accordions you used to get. I don't, you don't see many accordions about. They might weigh a ton. A musical instrument there, a uh, busker's favourite. Or maybe um, a one-man band might have that. Oh, you see what's happening now? See, colour down the right. I have to turn it cyan, and then for the first time, when I jump on it again, it turns white. So in level two, you've got two colours to go through, and I presume that continues through the different phases. Uh, their levels. Level three might have to do three colours and such. So it's, you need to go over it twice. So an extra degree of difficulty... Cyan, then white. Good good learning curve on this one. Really draws you into the gameplay. I better watch the time here. It's one of those games I could be playing for hours without actually realising. Hopefully, back in the day when you got this far into the game, your mum was bound to call you down for dinner, uh, the furthest you ever got, and you said, I can't come down, I'm playing this. Well, can't you pause it? No, I can't. I can't pause it. Well, if, I, if there was a pause button, the spectrum would be on fire by the time I come back anyway. So... There we go. So a little bit more difficult. There's an interesting eight enemy there. It's a UFO. But I think I'm going to do it again. Four lives left. Two colours to do. The glasses man doesn't be turning up this time, which is great. But she doesn't turn up on every level. Go. Did I get away with that? I died, but the whole screen is white. Am I dead? Or am I through? Yes, I'm through. Bonus 3,000. 3,000 points. This will be my last go. Hope you got an idea of how the game plays. It's the hour's getting gradually better. I'm sure you'll get gradually better too, but you might have a bit of an advantage knowing what to do after seeing me the first time. So it goes bright yellow, then normal yellow. That's quite clever to have those two on the screen at the same time. Um, no colour clash in this, moves quite fast. The enemies are transparent a lot of the time, but there's a lot of frames of animation there, and I think that's pretty cool. It's cool like a fool in a swimming pool. Boom! Right. You know what to expect from this channel, don't you? You know what to expect. Uh, man, right. I, I, I'm surprised there hasn't been any like modern day remakes of this this sort of game because it is a, it's a great idea. If you know of any modern day remakes or similar games, then of course put that in the comment section below. Um, my score still got a couple of zeros on the front, so but yeah, but we're only on we're only on level two of eight levels, and this is this is this phase two. Phase two. There's a little boot there coming to get with four boots. Let's see how many try and get us by the end of the thing. I think if we take too long, uh, we, we'll be just surrounded by boots. It's good that the power pill moves about as well. You never got that. You never got that impact, man. Oh, had an extra life potential there. But anyway, let's try and do some damage. Damage. Right. Uh, almost. Well, that was close there. I've been a bit cavalier again. Oops, I'm surrounded. Oh, that was a bit unfair. Look at that. I was surrounded by boots. If you've been surrounded by boots, then comment below. It's game over again. I feel like I could have got an extra life there and gone a bit further. But marvellous game. Really, really liked it. Liked the music. Liked the idea. Good execution. Great graphics. Great playability. And I'm third on the high score chart. Let's get it right this time. Nick, Pippo, Pippo, and Nick. You do, you're doing quite good to get on the top score there of that one. But awesome game. 
So I hope you like having a look at that game. That was a Pippo on the ZX Spectrum 48K. Published by Mastertronic in 1986. £1.99 for your money. How about that? You can't go wrong there. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.